Today I take a look at the Redivis RT3S DMR handheld radio. Is this update to the Redivis line worth the investment? Keep watching to find out. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. So if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. Well, today we're going to take a look at the Redivis RT3S DMR dual band handheld radio. Uh, the people at Redivis sent me a radio to evaluate and to publish a review on. So other than that, the, um, the opinions of, of this radio are all my own. Uh, with that being said, uh, please be sure to watch to the end of the video because I do have news and a special offer from Redivis. Well, the Redivis RT3S is an update to their RT3 DMR handheld radio. The new RT3S has some notable features that the RT3 does not have, including VHF and UHF dual band support. The original RT3 was a single band model, uh, 3,000 channels and, uh, and 10,000 contacts, upgradable to up to 120,000 contacts. The original RT3 only came with 1,000 channels. And also, um, there's some new features, including loan worker support, uh, voice record, and also GPS support. So the RT3S is a Tier 1 and Tier 2 uh, Motorola Moto Turbo DMR handheld radio. So it'll work with DMR repeaters in the US, and in addition uh, to DMR digital modulation, the radio also has analog support, so you'll find such features as CTCS, DS, DCS, uh, coded squelch support, um, and also DTMF encoding and decoding. So you've got your touch tones uh, built into the radio. As for the physical size, uh, the radio weighs in at about 285 grams. It's a little bit heavier, but not much bigger than uh, your venerable Baofeng uh, analog handheld radios. And it's a touch smaller than its big brother, the Redivis RT82. I did a, radio, a review on the RT82 previously, so you might want to check that one out. Um, the RT3S has many of the same features internally as the RT82, but it lacks the IP67 waterproof designation. And it doesn't have that rollerball interface that the RT82 has. Uh, but with that being said, the ergonomics are very good. And um, I do like the uh, front panel controls and on, on the radio. Uh, this radio, the RT3S also has a, a volume control knob and a channel selector knob that you don't find on some of the other models. Uh, the radio has got the familiar two-pin Kenwood style microphone connector. So if you have a collection of two-pin accessories, uh, they should work on the radio. Battery life, um, it has a 2000 milliamp hour 7.4 volt lithium ion battery. So for its average life, um, I've been able to get about an eight hour day on a full charge with this radio. So it's not so bad. The radio did come with a programming cable. It's a two pin cable that'll look quite familiar um, if, you're, if you've been used to programming Baofeng type radios. But it appears, and it, it appears to um, be specific to the RT3 line. So this cable won't work with other brands or models of radios. Uh, Redivis appears to use the FTDI chipset in their cables, which is really nice. So you're not gonna run into some, a lot of those driver issues that um, you might have with uh, the other style of cables that may use an older version of the prolific chipset. Uh, programming a radio is really just like programming any other um, these Chinese type DMR radios. Uh, software is identical to, to a point to the RT82 um, and other models like the Anytone, uh, TYT and others. So uh, I do have a video on programming the radio if you're um, this is your first time with DMR, you'd really want to check out that DMR programming video because I'm not going to go into programming necessarily in this, in this review. Um, so watch, so starting from scratch, watching that DMR programming video is going to be a good first step. Uh, but since um, I already had a DMR radio, I was able to shorten my programming process by exporting all of my contacts and exporting my channels from my RT82 and then importing them into the RT3S programming software. Um, but with that export import process, I wasn't able to um, import my zones, so I still had to link up all of my zones to my channels and contacts. But um, it greatly shortened uh, the programming process and um, the difference between 20 minutes to get those zones all straightened out and um, or two hours typing all those numbers in made a big difference in, in programming the radio. 
Uh, so let's talk about operation. Uh, the radio is pretty straightforward. Uh, use the volume knob to turn the radio on, uh, the channel selector to pick a channel within a zone, uh, the arrow buttons uh, select the primary band or the sub band on the dual watch display. Uh, to select a zone you can press the green button and then use the arrows to scroll through the list of zones. Uh, to cancel or move backwards press the red button. Uh, the LCD display is easy to read and uh, the keys light up for use in the dark. On the side of the radio, there's a large push to talk button that's flanked by two programmable buttons. The top button uh, by default will set the power level of the radio, which is either 5 watts for high or a 1 watt for low. Um, and then the bottom button is a monitor feature, um, but those can be reprogrammed in the software for your most used uh, features. Of course, I mentioned that the RT3S has a slew of new features as compared to the RT3. Notably, the new model now has a dual band radio support. So it's built in coverage for the 136 to 174 uh, VHF band and the 400 to 480 megahertz a UHF band. Of course, you can only transmit on those bands and frequencies that your license will allow you to. But as for new features, the RT3S has um, a function called Lone Worker. Uh, as you set, um, you can set the radio to signal uh, an alarm. Uh, when you push a button uh, if, an operate, if the operator of the radio is in distress. I guess this would be a good uh, feature in a commercial setting, but in the amateur radio world, this probably has limited use. Um, the new model also supports up to 3,000 uh, channels and uh, 10,000 contacts uh, right out of the box. Uh, the RT3S has a built-in voice recorder. Uh, you can store up to eight hours of digital uh, voice transmissions inside the radio in its internal memory. Uh, the transmissions are time stamped and it can be reviewed, reviewed and deleted at any time. So, uh, it's kind of a neat feature, especially if you want to be able to record, uh, say, um, activities on a net or some kind of a public service uh, type activity. So you've got a voice record, uh, recording of that. Uh, the, uh, the voice recorder only works in the um, digital mode, uh, so you can't record any analog transmissions. Finally, uh, the RT3S is available either with or without a built-in GPS unit. Uh, the integrated GPS will encode your location information into your transmissions and you can send uh, GPS coordinates to and receive GPS location information from another GPS-enabled uh, radio. Uh, the GPF, now this GPS function, it is not APRS um, and it only works on the DMR and not on any of the analog APRS channels. Uh, the GPS is activated on a per channel basis uh, within the programming software uh, and you can select which channels will um, encode and decode that GPS information. Well, the downside on the GPS though is it sends coordinates only, so no direction or distance information is integrated in the um, GPS screen. Uh, to use GPS on your RT3S, you know, first you'll need to activate it on, in the programming software, and that's on a per channel basis, and then you can turn the GPS off or on on the radio's front panel screen. Uh, I'm not sure what the battery life is like uh, with the built-in GPS, but working with other radios with uh, integrated GPSs, I'm guessing that you'll probably lose about 20% of your battery life using the GPS. Last but not least, uh, the, radio, the RT3S can be configured to hold up to 120,000 DMR contacts. Uh, you can download a file with everybody's uh, DMR ID and call sign and import that into the radio. Uh, normally, the DMR radios will hold up to 10,000 contacts, uh, but if you turn off the voice record feature, uh, that'll give you the ability, that'll free up the memory and give you the ability to store 120,000 contacts. As of July 2018, there's about 102,000 DMR contacts in the worldwide database, so you could have the entire worldwide database stored of, of, contact, of IDs and call signs stored in your radio and um, with room to spare. So what do I think about the RT3S? Well, so far I like it. It's not quite uh, the level of fit and finish that um, I've, I've seen with the RT82, and it doesn't have the IP67 uh, waterproof designation. So um, I'm not sh quite sure what the long-term um, durability is for the radio. I know with my RT82, I've dropped it several times, and um, it, has, it hasn't suffered any damage. 
So um, we'll see what the and we'll we'll see what the difference is long term with um, uh, the lack of that waterproof designation. Uh, the speaker is loud. Uh, it's got very good audio quality, uh, just as good as uh, the RT82. So I'm happy with that. You know, the bottom line is, is that this radio is in a really good price point. So I really have no problem recommending this as a first DMR radio or maybe as a spare DMR radio for, some, for an, uh, an operator looking to have a second one. And now for the news and special offer. Well, Redivis is celebrating their third anniversary this month. So they've got a whole bunch of special offers on their website. Uh, from now until August 10th, 2018, if you go out to their website at www.redivis.com, um, you'll, you'll see what, their, um, what the offers are. But basically, if you buy uh, five radios of a single model, you'll get one free. Buy 10 radios, get two free, etc., etc. Uh, but better than that, they also have some tiered discounts set up. So if you um, spend $200, you'll get a $12 discount. Uh, $21 discount if you spend $300 or more. Um, those are two really nice deals that can be stacked, but I've got a third deal that's even better yet. Because Redivis is so thankful for their customers, they're giving out a special coupon code of $20 off a $100 purchase. Um, just use the coupon code THANKSGIVING3 uh, during the checkout process. This is available on their website. And really, that's a tremendous deal. Um, so if you're thinking about getting into DMR or you're looking to pick up a second DMR radio, uh, this might be the incentive you need to um, get a radio at a great price. Uh, the full details and the descriptions of all of their, their discounts and um, celebration codes and whatnot can be found on their website at www.redivis.com. Well, that's it for this time. Um, got more videos in the works. Uh, so keep on watching. If you have any questions specific to the Redivis RT3S, please let me know. Uh, leave them in the video contents below. For more ham radio articles, please check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Um, and always don't forget to subscribe. Um, press that big thumbs up, I really enjoy it. And check out any of the other videos that are recommended up here. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, thanks for watching, and 73. You can download a file with uh, DMR information. Jeez Louise.